Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 4 of special episode 5. This will never get less complicated. Um, yeah, we still gotta save Selby. So let's see. We're doing good on items, I think. Let's talk to Duskno here. Anyway, Celebi and the Sableye are up ahead. The chances are high that we will see Master Dialga and his new henchmen there too. Ready yourself, and let's go. I'm ready. Yep. Icicle Forest. Oh man. Good to see that you're still useful. Do you have anything to say? Be prepared, Grova. Let's brace ourselves. Uh, yeah, let's... Eh. Dead end. Anything interesting over there? Just pain and suffering, as usual. That's not these. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk over here and speed it up. Looks like we've made it through. I think the Sableye are up ahead. Let's proceed with caution. Oh no, that's a bad sign. I mean, not necessarily, but... It was a bad sign. Mm. This is... It looks like the deepest part of the, this ice-covered forest. Over there, I can see a remarkably large ice pillar. There's a mysterious feeling in the air. Is that... Egad! Grovile, look! Over there! Just past those four huge pillars. Can you see anything? Ah, uh, yes, I can! 
Looks like someone's lying there unconscious. Come on. What kind of word is a god? Ah, uh, the that is. Ce Celebi, Celebi, can you hear me? It's me. It's Grover. Uh, is someone holding you back? There's an odd keystone nearby. That means Spiritum. Hee <laughs> <laughs> Spiritum, you! Why have you done this to Celebi? <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong. This was... This was not our doing. Don't lie. Explain why Celebi is like this. You've done this to me before, so I know it's you. Besides, if you didn't do this to Celebi, then who else could have... What? What is this sensation? Why? I don't understand why. E every nerve in my body is bristling. This, this is a bad sign. My instincts are screaming out that something's very wrong. But where is this feeling coming from? <laughs> You're wrong. Please believe us. What is it trying to tell me? This overpowering sense of dread. B what have I failed to understand? What am I wrong about? Ah, G Grover! Celebi, you're awake. You! You sure picked a strange time to wake up. If we let you flee, we... Let Celebi go, Spiritum. <laughs> If you won't let her go, I'll knock you out. Don't make me use force. D don't come near. Ah. We we did it. Yeah. <laughs> you. Ah. My strength. I'm losing my strength. This is. Um. We can go now, right? We're all done here, so we'll just be on our way. But behind Groval is Dusknoir. We can go, right? What? What are you saying? <laughs> Get hold of yourself, Spiritoon. Remain with us a little longer. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Dusk Noir, you! What's going on? Listen, Groval. Master Dialga's new henchman. From the start, it was never re revealed. W what? Everything. Everything has gone according to my plan. This icicle forest is a special place. If you're hit by the electrical discharge of these ice pillars, your spirit will be melted away. It was surprisingly easy to get you to stand in the center of these four pillars. That's where the power is the most concentrated. <laughs> my spirit will be melted away. My plan, elegant and useful. It's this. Groval, I lured you here for this purpose. After your spirit has been melted away, I will use your body. And in your place, I will return to the past. Wh what? If Groval goes back to the past, Yam and Kala will be in so incredibly happy, don't you agree? They won't be the slightest bit suspicious. They will accept you as their friend. Sadly, the two innocents will be unaware of one flaw in their happiness. The body will be Grovals, but the consciousness will be me. Everything we've done has been in preparation for this. The new agent. In fact, Groval, it's you. <laughs> no. 
Oh no, Dusk Noir, this can't be real. I mean, when did you plan? You, you and I returned. For, uh, you and I returned together to this world from the past. There wasn't any time when you could have told this plan to the Sableye. So how did you? Uh, no, there was time. That time, when we were returned to this world and saw the Sableye for the first time. Sableye. Wee! Grove! Wee! They found me already. I've got to get out of here as fast as I can. But Dusknoir was still unconscious back then. I thought I was the first of us to wake up. That was incorrect. It was the other way around. Dusknoir regained consciousness before I did. So he woke up first and talked to the Sableye. This plan of his. <laughs> it's taken you long enough to catch on, Grover. <laughs> Grover! <laughs> You've been in my way the entire time. And now your time is up. And when I inhabit your empty shell and return to the past, it will be child's play to take down Yam and Color. Give up now and let your spirit be melted away. <laughs> oh, was I... Was I too trusting? I thought I could. But I... Believed you. That's right, Groval. Your weak point is that you're too kind. I've said it before. Allow me to repeat it for emphasis. I really despise you. Even when I shielded you. It was simply according to my plan. You... You, you coward! <laughs> you can babble whatever you like. In the end, you have lost. You've lost because... You trusted me. No. I don't believe that. I... I wasn't wrong. I... I still... Trust you. B what? Do my ears deceive me? <laughs> oh wow. You say that even after all I've done. You still have trust... In me. Yes, despite that. I know what's in your heart, Dusknoir. We had a moment of understanding. <laughs> then. We had nothing of the kind. Ah, yes. I'm sure, as sure can be. While we were on our adventure, when we were pressing on through the dungeons, surmounting all challenges, while you were behind me, at some point, I sensed that your feelings of hatred vanished. Well, what are you saying? That's impossible. I meant what I said. I despise you. That's all you sensed. I ask you to remember more carefully. It's not just something I sensed. I'm very cautious. And even with caution in place, while we were on this adventure together, I decided to trust you. Because I could sense your spirit. A spirit of loyalty. I could clearly sense your spirit. Your... Your sh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> your... Your shining spirit. <laughs> Sh shine, Sh shining, my spirit, mine. You've pledged loyalty to Primal Dialga, so you're trying to protect this world of darkness. But that just comes from the desire not to disappear. But really, for you, most of all, is that enough to survive like this? Here, is there? 
any honest happiness in that for you? The meaning of life. Think of what it truly means to live, Dusk Noir. What it truly means to live. My meaning. While I live, I want to shine. I want to prove that I exist. If I could do something really important, that would definitely carry on into the future. No, not just into the future. In Yam and Kala's future too. My spirit has become part of them, I believe. In them, my spirit is alive. And that spirit could be passed along to others. And so, if I were to disappear, I think all that I have accomplished will go on. That is, that would mean that it's living, right? Even if I disappear, I still live on. My spirit is alive. Even if I disappear, my spirit is alive. Please remember, Dasknoa, what I sensed in that dungeon at that time. Your shining spirit. M my spirit. There's, there's nothing that... Nothing shines like that. You're... You're deluding yourself. Uh, Master Dasknoa, are you alright? Shut up! Ah. Oh. Am I... Has my spirit become a part of others' minds? Then... Grover's... Existence... Only... It's too late now. Ah. M Master Desnoir? Uh. Sableye! It's the same for you. Haven't you ever thought of a future or a new life? Giving in to Primal Dialga and living your whole life in darkness. Is that truly what you want? Sableye, what does your heart tell you? Your sense of self-respect. Where is it gone? Uh, the electric, the electrical discharge is getting stronger. Can't hold on. M my strength, my strength is draining away. If, if this goes on, Grover can't. Spiritum, hee! You can't let this happen. You can move, can't you? Do something. Hee hee. Ah. It's no good. My vision is going white. My spirit is going to melt away. Uh, my consciousness. My consciousness is fading. My consciousness. My spirit. Finally. Fading. <sighs> D Dusk Dusk Noah Wait Master Dusk Noah Master Dusk Noah Master Dusk Noah rescued Grover uh, 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 This is G Grover are you alright? Uh, uh. Barely. Dusknoir, you saved me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh gosh. Mm. 
Master Dialga. Oh, someone's angry. Ouch. M Master Dasma. Oh, this isn't good. Ah. Gah. Master Dasknoa! Master Dasknoa! We must protect him! Let's go! Wee! Oh no, honey! Honey, that is useless! You can't! Ow! Qua! You! Ugh. Need to move! My body! It won't do what I tell it to! Ah, and that's brutal. <laughs> Finally, my my paralysis is gone. Ah, Dialga! Stop! Don't, Celebi. I remember right. That's called an aurora. Ah. Uh, uh, a wind. A wind has started blowing. And up in the sky there's an aurora. That means the sun. The air has started to move. The paralyzed planet has started to move again. Could it be? History has finally changed. You did it. Yeah, color. Uh, gee, gee. The Alga. Primal the Alga has become more ferocious. This can't be good. No, no. Eek! Oh god. Mm -hmm. Master, that's not. D don't worry. I'm fine. It's more important to follow Master Dialga. The rest of you, take care of Groval and Celebi. H hurry. Uh. Oh, Dusk, no. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm good, I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Did he really go this way? Y yes There's no mistaking it. Master Dialga was envelo what? enveloped in this light. But then he vanished in the direction of this awesomely vast mountain. It's hopeless. W what's wrong, Sullaby? At the pinnacle of this mountain, there's a passage of time. Uh, you know what's strange? Even though I was caught, I never said where the passage of time was. Master Dialga went into even more of a rampage. He's no longer acting rationally. Maybe his instinct, pressed by his increased ferociousness, made him head for the passage of time. <laughs> if Dialga were to hit the passage of time while he, he, he's not in his right mind, what would happen, Dasknoa? If that occurs, now that the world has finally started to move, I don't know what would happen. We need to stop him quickly. The light has gotten much brighter, huh? The sun is rising. Dawn is near. It took a long time to recover. 
from here on, Grovel and I, and Celebi, will move as a group of three. We need to fight as hard as we possibly can to stop Master Dialga. But, on the other hand, we'll be far less mobile if we bring the Sableye along. If we're not in time, then that's the end. Understood. All right, let's prepare and then let's go. M Master Dasknoa! Grovan, Celebi too! What is it? We're ready too. For the future, Master Dialga needs to come to his senses. Yes. I understand. This is the final fight. We must bring Master Dialga back to his senses. That's right. This is what I've been fighting for all this time. Just a little more. Oh. Uh, huh? What was that? D don't tell me. Don't tell me this is... Huh? Grobel, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. Yeah. Just a little more. Everything we've done so far. Just a little more and we can achieve our goals. Until the end where I disappear. Lend me your strength. Yam. Yeah. Oh god, I'm so sad. <laughs> he goes out to his best friend. Mm. Okay. Um, let's talk to everyone and then I'm gonna end the episode here. Let's talk to the Sableye first. Please, Grovel. Please help Master Dialga come back to his senses with Ma Master Dusk Noir. I've had a desire to change the world for some time now, but it's hard to be brave. I know, I know. Can I talk to this one? Yes. I'm growing tired of this world of darkness too. If you could change it, you could bring a better future. Mm. It, I've talked to you. I want to talk to you. We're ready to accept what will happen to us. Please, Grover, stop Master Dialga. For the future. You're all so cute, I cannot deal with it. You're so good. You're such a good Pokemon. I love you. Celebi. I never thought you would be caught like this. Oh, I didn't imagine that I'd get caught either. I really didn't think Dialga himself would come after me. By the way, I didn't think you'd be coming back to this world, Grover. I was worried that you had failed again, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I got to see you again. I'm so happy. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, yeah, we, 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 yeah, we had that. She's so cute, though. Thanks for thinking I'd fail, though. And you. I saw it, Grova light that emanated from your body earlier. Tell me, was that a sign that we're about to disappear? <laughs> I knew. I should have known. I guess there isn't much time left for us, huh? But the shorter the time is, the brighter the radiance becomes. Anyway, all we can do is live life to the fullest within our limited time. Once you're ready, let's go. I don't think I'll ever be ready though. <laughs> okay, but with this, um, I'm ending this episode. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.